Hi, welcome to another episode of The Young and the Restless. We open up with Adam meeting with Sally at the coffee house and she declines his offer to work at McCall. Then we go over to Athletic Club and we see Nick is there having a meeting with someone and then he runs into Elena and she informs him that she and Nate are over. She no longer lives with him and he was right about Nate. Then we see Nate visits Victoria in the office at Newman. Then we go over to the Abbott house and Cal Jack, Cal and Jack are determined to tell Summer and Diane about Phyllis being alive, but Michael tells them no. He tells them that sometimes secrets are for the best and leave and they should leave it alone until he has solid proof. Then we see foolish, stupid Danielle believes that Jack and Cal will keep their word for it and not send his mother to jail. And then we go back to the coffee house and Sally claims that it's a terrible idea and they can never work together again. And Adam asks if it's her or Nick making that decision. Then he reminds Sally of the good old days that they had at Newman Media before everything went wrong. Then Sally says that she will never make n- she'll never make a decision to receive a paycheck from a Newman again. Back at the Athletic Club, Elena asks how long Nick knew, and Nick says that he can't disclose and how bad it was that Nate would do that to her. But based on how Nick is judging Nate, I'm like, Nick, you're a hypocrite calling someone a cheater. You have cheated on all your women. You have no rights to call out Nate. Then he invites Elena to have ice cream. And then we go back to the Abbott house and they, they are there talking, then Diane walks in and she asks what's going on. And they tell Diana that they are doing defensive strategies when she walks in. And she is shocked that Daniel is a part of it. And Diane then gets apologetic and cries to Daniel, saying that he didn't kill his mom. And Daniel says that you are not going to jail, Diane. You're innocent. Diane wants to know why Daniel is so convinced. Michael says that it's cause he is highly skilled, he's a highly skilled lawyer, and Daniel believes it's dark. Back at Newman, Vic and Nate talk and have a drink. Then we go back to Athletic Club, and Elaine and Nick are both hypocrites, calling Nate out for having no moral compass. Elena, you cheated on Devon with Nate. Nick, you cheated with on Sharon. You cheated on um, Phyllis. You cheated on that girl with Adam. You have done it so many times. So what are you talking about? Multiple times on Sharon. Back at Newman, Nate tells Vic that Elena moved out. And Nate informs her that there is no room for repairs with them. And he doesn't want to. Then we go back to the coffee house and Sally cries to convince Adam that she doesn't need him. Then we go back to the Abbott house and Daniel tells Diane he believes it was Stark. And Diane is shocked Daniel really believes her and she cries. Then we see Michael suggest that they keep Daniel support secret and they not tell Summer. And Diane is grateful to have Daniel in her corner. Diane leaves and Jack and Kyle are determined to find Phyllis. Then we go back to Newman and Nate expressed that he is no longer the same man when he met Elena. Says that he has lost the passion for medicine and for their relationship. It has been occurring for a while. And a, a thought here is like, I don't know, but seeing Elena and Nick together made me prefer them over Sally and Nick. They seem to have more chemistry. Then we go back to the coffee house and Adam still tries to convince Sally and says that it's dangerous because Adam has feelings for her so she will not come back there. And she tells Adam to watch what he says because his feelings are being shown. <coughs> Sally also warns him to stop saying things to her knowing that she isn't his. Back at the athletic club, Nick and Elena continue to talk, and Nick claims that he can give give advice. 
from both sides. He finally admits that he's a cheater and tells her to chill for a second and give herself time to breathe. And then they discuss him, Sally, Adam, and the baby. And Nick claims that it's the happiest he has been in a long time. And Elena tells him that he needs to celebrate his love. Then we go back to the coffee house and Adam apologizes for getting ahead of himself and Sally tells him to move on, to find someone else that loves him and tells him to focus on their daughter, nothing else, and begs Adam to let her go. Back at the Abbott house, Michael wants to find the EMT that was on site and Jack questions when to go to Christine. Jack wants Phyllis to be arrested right away. And Daniel is there quiet, like, seriously, Daniel, you fool. Then Carl says that he wants to tell Summer, and Daniel and Michael leaves. After they leave, Carl tells Jack that he hates the plan, and Jack says you can't tell her. Carl says that he knows what it's like being on the other side, thinking your mom's dead when she's alive, and decides that he's going to tell Summer. Back at, the, at Newman, Vic and Nick discuss how to how they should move forward and they both agree to try the relationship at the atlas at the coffee house sally says that she can still see adam is in love with her and it's a requirement that he gets over her the only part of her life he's gonna have is with their daughter and he will she would like for him to show that so that he can be around her more Adam questions if he will still get the doctor visits and appointment notifications. And she says yes, but it's for the best that they stay away from each other. She says goodbye and leaves. Back at Newman, Vic asks Nate, where does things end up from here? Vic tells him what she wants and they agree that they need the same thing and they decide not to rush it but move carefully. Back at the Abbott house, Jack tries to convince Kyle to wait, but Kyle convinces him that they can't keep it a secret forever. Jack wants to go talk to Christine. Stupid Jack. Then we see Sally comes home to dinner in her room, and Nick is there as he awaits her. Nick declares his love, I want to skip, and then they make love. Back at Newman, Nate and Vic decides to make things private and they decide to go back to work from there on. As Nate leaves to go to his office, he runs into Audra at the elevator and he doesn't pay her any mind, just walks past her. Then we see Jack awaits Christine at Society and he gets a notification on his phone, a, a, not, a memory notification of a photo and it says remember this day and it's him and Phyllis. Victor comes over and asks if he saw a ghost and we end with Kyle telling Diane that there is something she needs to know. Thanks for watching. Bye.